Okay, to begin this episode, we are going to first start at tiles.framevr.io. And this is a free tool that FrameVR gives out to be able to build custom environments that you can import into Frame to build anything really. But for the sake of this series, this is to build out our escape room game experience. So click in the top right hand corner and make sure that you're logged in. And if you're not logged in, it will give you that option in the top right. If you are logged in, then you're going to see this menu that I have here on the right. You have around 25 or 30 different elements that you can drag onto your environment. And I'm going to keep it pretty simple. We're just going to be creating a couple of different rooms with different features. So I'm going to start by taking these two walls and putting, putting them. You can add them anywhere you want on this 10 by 10 grid. Then I'm going to take four corners and add those there. And you'll notice that the corners, of course, are not in the right orientation. When you click on them once, you will get this gizmo, which allows you to move them across the X, Y, and Z axis, but also with the green circle around the outside, you can rotate them. If you use your arrow key, it's probably the easiest to simple, simply click on the item and turn the arrow key as many times as you need to, to be able to get it to be lined up with the other walls. Okay, so there's a basic room with no windows or doors. Let's create a second one that is going to have a window this time. Doesn't really matter where you put it. In this particular example, I'm going to make a long rectangular room. Oops. So I want to delete this one because I forgot to add the window. So when you click on it, hit the command X or control X, depending on which kind of device that you're on, and that will cut that. Or you can just hit the letter X. I'm going to go back here and add a window here to the wall of this one and then put the four corners on like we did last time. Notice I'm trying to keep the floor, the style the same, just keeps the experience similar for the user when they are in the escape room. Once again, click on that here, use the arrow keys to line this up and voila, we have two rooms, one with a window and one without a window. And then let's build a third one here over on the left hand side and kind of create the opportunity to be inside or outside of the room. And what that means is if I click like this and turn that wall like that, and then put another straight wall here like this and get creative a little bit with being able to be outside of the room. Actually, no, we want to take that away and I want to put in a corner here and another corner there. Turn that. Okay. So this one has a little bit of a different format where they're going to be able to go outside of the room and walk around the, the facade, but they can't go really anywhere other than that. All of the black spaces here within frame VR are going to be visible, but they're, you can't navigate them. So the only place that an avatar or a user is going to be able to move is going to be on the floor here. Okay, now that we have our basic structures, an important part is to set what is called the spawn spot or where the users are going to enter when they first come to this space. So I'm going to choose a spot, one of the tiles here that is inside of the closed room and I'm going to press the letter O and you'll see that you get this reaction from the particle emitter and it shows you that that is going to be the spawn spot. Lastly, uh, if you would like to add a roof here within the tiles app, you can do that by simply dragging a four piece here to an open tile. And then when you click on it, use the X, I mean the Z axis, which is the green arrow to get it up on a different plane. So you can see that it is above the walls and then drag it over here. And now that you're on that plane, you can just simply add a number of those like this. And that effectively creates a roof. Now, right now I'm gonna hold off on any other changes here and I'm just gonna click save and name this escape room five and hit save to frame inventory. That's all we need to do to create a custom environment here within frame. Now, if I load up a blank frame with ha without an environment, when I scroll to the left or the right here, got some scroll to the left or the right, you can see that it is an empty frame. And I wanna change that by going to change environment by the gear down here at the bottom and go and search for the environment that I just created, which was escape room five, I believe. Here it is. And you'll see that we are, we did spawn into the environment. However, you'll notice that there's a small problem in that we are inside the environment, but outside the room 
and we cannot go through the walls, which is going to be a problem. So a way to get around that is to go up to the menu and go to frame settings, general, and scroll down and make sure that flying enabled is toggled on. Close that out, go to the gear down at the bottom and turn on the flying mode, which is the airplane. And the flying mode is very handy in building this because now we can actually go through the wall like that. Now, if I go to the creation menu and say spawn spot and name that enter and tree, there we go. Now I can see that this diamond here has a purple circle below it, and that represents where the new spawn spot would be. And over here on the left hand side, if I click on default spawn spot, then when I refresh the page and reload the frame, you will notice that I am now spawning inside the room, which was our intended target. So that gives you the basics of how to set up a custom escape room and at least start with a spawn spot. What we'll do in the next edition is move from one room to the other, as well as we'll start adding some content here to the room. So stay tuned for that.